500 feet per minute, that looks great. I'm gonna pitch down a little bit, I guess. You're doing great. Hello aviators, my name is Jason Miller, a full-time career flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're talking about why it's so important to know the configuration you're going for in the airplane before you start to fly an instrument approach. Uh, we all know this in the lateral direction, right? We don't chase needles. Hopefully, we fly headings and see what effect that has on the lateral course needle, the course deviation indicator. Uh, but this works vertically as well, and I don't see it there as, it's not as common for me to see it there. So that's why we're doing this video. Um, this is Kristen. Okay, she's a, she's a private pilot. She's come to California to work on her instrument rating, and she's just getting started. Uh, when I say just getting started, I mean we've done one week, right? And um, the way I approach instrument training is that I'll usually show folks the context, right? Like the very first thing we'll do is a point-to-point -point flight in the system filed, just so we can see the end result. Uh, then we go out to the gym and we start building skills. And the skills that Kristen has been working on is you know, in one week, it's really just about basic attitude instrument flying. It's about scanning the flight instruments, uh, and we do a lot of, we fly the Oscar pattern, we do a lot of, um, uh, a lot of different exercises in that first week, but it's all related to how to scan the instruments. Uh, and toward the end of the week, we started to dabble in flying courses, okay? So that's about as far as we got. Uh, and in that week of, of scanning, one of the configurations that I show instrument pilots is the 500 foot per minute 90 knot descent. Uh, you know, every glide slope or glide path is built on approximately, for the commenters, approximately 500 feet per minute at a 90, at 500 feet per minute down at a 90 knot ground speed. Uh, so it's so common that, that it's a configuration I practice right up front and continually throughout the, the instrument training. So here's how that works in the airplane. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is just like a constant airspeed descent, you are going to power back and hold your altitude to slow down. Okay, we're gonna capture that airspeed first. That's the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we're flying at the correct airspeed. 90 knots. And you can see as I power back and as I hold altitude, the airspeed is decreasing. We're 100 now. Okay, decreasing to 95. All right, now once we get to the target airspeed of 90 knots, we are going to transition. We're going to let the pitch fall or push it down, whatever we have to do. And at this point, our this VSI right here, this vertical speed indicator, becomes our primary indicator for pitch. So I'm going to pitch to 500, I'm going to pitch down if I'm at 400, and I'm going to pitch up if I'm at 600, I'm going to pitch to 500 and power to 90. Alright, so I'm trying to hold 90 knots and 500 feet per minute. If I'm fast, I will power back. If I'm coming down too fast, I will pitch up. And there we go, and it looks to me like about 1800 RPM is holding this. That's an important number to, to memorize. This is going to be one of our six configurations. Okay, 90 knots, I'm still fighting for it, but I'm 92 now, 500 feet per minute. Okay, just remember the first thing we did was slow down to 90 knots. The second thing we did was pitch down to 500 feet per minute, at which point the VSI is primary for pitch, the airspeed is primary for power. Uh, and that's just a convenient way of thinking about it. Uh, it's convenient in this plane because pitch will cause this VSI to react immediately. If I pitch up, I get an immediate reduction. If I pitch down, I get an immediate reduction. In this type of airplane, uh, power is a little bit slower to be felt. So for that reason, in this configuration, it's convenient to think about pitching to VSI, powering to airspeed. Um, and this would hold, assuming no wind, this would hold your ILS glide slope, this would also hold your LPV glide path. And it's nice to know where you're starting before we start working with those needles. All right, so be proficient at constant rate slash airspeed descents. Okay, so this is something that we practice, and uh, here in California, we've got access to the Bay Area fog, which I, I try to take advantage of right until it's gone. It's a summer phenomenon. So uh, toward the end of the week, we took Kristen down to Hayward to fly and approach in actual conditions. Now, this is way beyond where she really is, but I just asked her to control the airplane uh, and implement some of the stuff we had been working on. That is, set up a 90-knot, 500-foot-per-minute descent and see what effect that has on the glide path, pick a heading and see what effect that has on the, on the course deviation indicator, and watch how awesome this works out. Look how great she does. 5218 Foxman Hayward Tower, continue for runway 28 left and left 
uh, higher up we received was about an hour ago. Top 2,500, base is 1,500. Uh, if you could give us an update on the pirate. Uh, Roger, Wilco, 521, Foxtrot. Okay. You've got the airplane? My airplane. Good. You kind of know what you're looking at? Yeah, 90. Okay, good. Yeah, 285 is your final. So if the needle starts going left a little bit, try maybe two degrees left. That's plenty. And then go back to turn coordinator showing no turn. That looks good. That looks good. Right? Yeah, stop your left turn, though. Oh. There you go. I do. I definitely Let's go chase back to the, the right. needles. Yeah. yeah. Pick a heading you're going back to, maybe just back to the heading bug. Perfect. Okay. Right there. Good. I'm enriching the mixture because here comes the final approach fix. So this is the last A. Okay. We're going to go full rich. Um, airplane. Okay, good. Full rich because Hayward is sea level? Correct. Okay. And I don't have time from here on in. We're going into the clouds. Yep. Like, we don't have time to mess with gear. Like we want, we want to just think about flying the approach. Yep. Okay, we're losing the needle a little bit to the right. Try five degrees to the right. Your vertical is perfect. Yep. So hold your vertical. It says the 1-8 Fox tries. I'll sequence you right as you get closer to the field, right but there are two sets in the pattern. Roger, uh, 5-2-1-8 Fox try. Pretty good. Okay, that attitude indicator is just a hole in your... Yep. Okay, as we come into the clouds here, Kristen has worked on focusing on controlling the airplane via pitch and power, verifying she's getting the performance she wants, that is 500 feet per minute and 90 knots. And in this case, using the VSI as the primary pitch information and the airspeed as the primary power information. Good. S90. Keep your eyes moving around the room. Let's go to the right a little bit, right? Yeah, just a little bit. That's right. That's 90 good. Bit. Nice. 500 feet per minute. That looks great. And pitch down a little bit, I guess. Right. You're doing great. There's that left rudder we need to get. It feels like aggressive to the right, but you're right, the needle's yeah. not moving. Just be ready to go back to the left okay. a little and pitch up a hair, the tiniest bit of power because the vertical. Yeah, the really vertical. Tight. Yeah, I love that. You're doing great. Look at that's you. Good, yeah. Look at you. Okay, and that's directly a result of knowing what to expect. It would be really easy to just start pitching for that glide path needle, not having any idea what configuration you're looking for, and it's really easy to chase that vertical needle the same way it's really easy to chase a lateral needle. So next time you're out flying an instrument approach, uh, think about that, and you should, before you do that, practice slowing the airplane down to your targeted speed, letting the pitch fall, and working on rate slash airspeed uh, descents, constant rate slash constant airspeed descents. If you guys want to hear my philosophy on instrument training, we are just about to add an instrument course to the Ground School app. This is not a separate app, not a separate course. It's not even a separate price uh, yet. So if you want to get a great deal, download the app now. You can brush up on VFR skills, VFR knowledge, and before you know it, we're going to have that instrument course in there. That's all available in the App Store or at learnthefinerpoints.com. Also, remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. There's tons of bonus content on Patreon. If you haven't seen that, I do weekly offer hours. You can see these videos without YouTube ads and much, much more. Uh, for information on how you can support this channel and get bonus content, check out patreon.com slash learn TFP. And of course, do all that YouTube stuff. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little alert bell so you might get notified of uploads. Uh, I'm Jason Miller. You guys are the best fans on the internet. And until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.